I don't know if you want to call it God. I don't know if you want to call it the universe. I don't know if you want to call it divine intervention. Call it whatever you want to call it, but you feel it and you hear it. <laughs> and you need to take heed and listen to it. If somebody needs to hear what you have to say, somebody needs you to show up because you not doing what you're meant to do means that they will never do what they're meant to do because they need to hear you talk about what you're meant to do. Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. It's Danielle. And I just wanna talk really quickly because I just, I'm sitting here in the car at Walmart. I'm uploading a video right now. I just finished filming the second episode of my podcast or recording it. And I'm going hard in 2024. So I just wanted to talk to y'all real quick about like how you know if you have a calling on your life, what that feels like, what it looks like. How do you know? And I wanna talk a little bit about like my journey and what it has looked like for me in the past if you don't know who i am i am a mother i'm a content creator i have a youtube channel where i do a lot of vlogs and stuff i'm an author i wrote a book called make a deposit a guide to rebuilding your identity and finding fulfillment in motherhood or after having kids um and i've used the principles that are in my book and the the strategies that are in my book to go from a stay-at-home mom to a six-figure earner at this point um, and I built my dream house. We have two brand new cars and it's not about what I have per se, but it's about how different my life is in like a year and a half that it, than it was just a couple years ago or like a year and a half ago. So you can really make a huge difference in your life when you listen to your instincts and you really go after what you're passionate about and what you feel like your purpose is and what the, your calling is. And I just want to talk about how that can look, what it can feel like and what that process, like how it kind of unfolds, or at least how it has for me. So when we talk about how you know whether there's a calling on your life or not, let me turn this heat off in here because it is hot. What it looks like is usually uncomfort. uncomfort. You get really uncomfortable with how you, your life is going. That was always the first step for me, just feeling like, I don't like this. Like, I don't like the way my life is going. I don't like this particular aspect I don't feel fulfilled in my life I don't feel like I'm really making a difference I don't feel like I feel like I'm not living the life I'm meant to live so if you feel like that that is a great way like a great indicator that you are not living in your purpose and that you don't there's something else you should be doing besides what you are doing and that doesn't mean that you stop what you're doing right now and you just completely you know go in a whole different direction because most of us are mothers most of us have responsibility and we just cannot do that we have to you know take smaller steps to get to where we want to go but you can do it and you can give yourself permission first of all to just be unhappy with your life even if you're a stay-at-home mom even if you're not struggling financially even if you know you have everything that you need even if all of those things are true you still can be unhappy with the way your life is going because you can love your kids you can love your husband you can love your partner you can like your job you know what i mean you can have all these things and still not like the way your life is set up and not feel like you're living the life you you are meant to live so if you feel any sort of dis discomfort and you feel like this ain't it like this is not the life i'm supposed to be living this is not who i want to be this is not how i want to spend my days this is not you know this just ain't it this just ain't it if that's how you feel then you know that there's a higher calling on your life and there's a different purpose for your life and there's something else that you should be doing besides what you are doing and for me, the second, the second step was always just really getting, thinking about what I would prefer to do instead and what I would, pref how I would prefer that my life look as opposed to how it looked at the moment. Um, and just like thinking in opposites is a really good way to get to like the meat and potatoes when it comes to that sort of thing. It's like, if I don't like this specifically, like make a list of the three things you don't like like your top three things that you would want to change i don't like my job i don't like the amount of time that i don't have to focus on this or that like i don't like you know be specific about the things you don't like so make a list of three things that like your top three things that you don't like and that you would want to change and then what's the opposite of those three things like if they were different how would you want them to look what would you prefer like what would you want instead of those three things like the three things that you have right now that you don't like what are three things that you can do instead or that you would prefer instead? How do you want that to look? Write those down. And then write down a few ways that you can get to that end. So 
if your first thing is that you don't like your job and the opposite of that is that you want to be self-employed, what are three things you can do to get yourself to the point where you can be self-employed? Uh, and that's a really big one. <laughs> that is a little bit harder to like conceptualize, but there's always something. So even if it's starting a YouTube channel, that's a way that you can move toward being self-employed. If it is starting a podcast or um, just being more, uh, maybe it's joining a multi-level marketing business where you can sell like Scentsy or um, Mary Kay or something like that. Like there are many avenues to take. Maybe you need to start investing. Um, that's a good way to make some extra money. Maybe you can create some digital products on Etsy or maybe you can sell some physical products on Etsy or maybe you can be a, an Amazon seller or a PayPal, not PayPal, a eBay seller. If you're good at writing, maybe you can start to do resumes for people or maybe you can, uh, if you're good at marketing, maybe you can help businesses market their services. Like if you're good at social media, maybe you can help, um, maybe you can do UGC content or like plenty of things that you can do. And that's just off the top of my head. Like you ain't even get on Google yet. You ain't even get on Google yet. Okay. You haven't even like looked this stuff up. You ain't go to chat GPT and ask it. <laughs> and you ain't did nothing yet. Like this is off the top of my head. So baby, you can figure out something to do that's going to get you to where you want to go. Is it going to be an easy process? No. It's going to take some time. It's going to take some effort. It's going to take some, probably some money. And you're going to have to like be there showing up and, you know, making it happen for yourself. But you got to get clear on what you don't like before you ever going to change it. And you got to be willing to admit that you don't like it and not be afraid to take the next steps to change it. And that's really what it boils down to because when you have a higher calling on your life and you are clear about what you don't like and you are clear about where you want to do where you want to go and what you want to do instead the next step is always action and it's consistent action because without that nothing is going to change you got to be willing to take those next steps and then just really keep taking them and keep taking them and keep taking them and keep taking them until you can end up somewhere different so if you're feeling that tug and something is nagging at you and telling you I need to do something different. Like, I hate this. I don't like this. I don't like that. I'm I'm, I'm unhappy. I just feel depressed or I feel unmotivated or I feel this or I feel that. Anything that you're feeling that's a negative emotion about your life, there's a change that needs to be made and there's some adjustments that need to happen so you can feel good about the life you're living. And as long as you don't feel good about the life you're living, you're going to feel that way. And that's the problem. That is really at the root of it because... The whole point is you want to enjoy your life. And as long as you're feeling like, I don't like this and I don't like that. And I'm just, you know, you're off balance because there's so much discomfort. And even if you're comfortable it's financially and you're comfortable with where you live and you like your house and you like your the car you drive. And you know what I'm saying? Like, there's not too many financial things that are like making you feel uncomfortable. It's the feeling. You know what I mean? It's like that feeling that's like, nah, this ain't it. And I've been feeling that a lot lately, so I know exactly what it feels like. I Some days I'm crawling out of my skin with, you know, just that it's bubbling up to the surface. Like, you ain't doing what you're supposed to be doing, and you need to do something else. Because if you don't move, something going to move you. So, take heed to those feelings. When you feel that, when you feel that, like, desire to do something else just creeping up inside of you, and it's like telling you, you feel it and you hear it in your mind. You, you hear it telling you. I don't know if you want to call it God. I don't know if you want to call it the universe. I don't know if you want to call it divine intervention or whatever you want to call it. It's, you want to call it spirit. Call it which, whatever you want to call it. But you feel it and you hear it. <laughs> and you need to take heed and listen to it. And you need to actually take some action so that you can start to change where you are and become who you are intended to be in this world because somebody needs what you have somebody needs to hear what you have to say somebody needs you to show up because you not doing what you're meant to do means that they will never do what they're meant to do because they need to hear you talk about what you're meant to do and they need you to inspire them to do what they're meant to do and without you they'll never do it let that sink in i feel like most of us feel like we play we don't know we don't think that we have any impact or any power but in reality, you don't know who's looking or listening just because they don't comment or they don't 
um, you know, tell you how you've changed your words or your actions have changed their lives. Just because they they don't make it known to you doesn't mean you you are not impacting somebody. So keep that in mind when you think about what your purpose is. It's always tied to, to other people. It's always tied to your service to other people and how you can help somebody else. And usually it's really just as simple as your words and your delivery and your, the you that you put into it. Because the way I deliver a message is going to be different than how you deliver a message because my life experiences have been different than yours. And people may not resonate with me the way they resonate with you and vice versa. People may resonate, resonate. Some people are going to be drawn more to me and some people are going to be drawn more to you because you have the you. <laughs> the you is what makes it unique. It's like you had a different experience than me you grew up this way and you know somebody else has had a very similar experience to you and it's gonna run your message is gonna resonate with them more because they their lived experience is so similar to your lived experience so don't think that nobody needs is going to listen to you or nobody needs what you have it may not be the people who are in your life right now it may not be your family members your friends just got a text message it may not be your family members your friends or people that you actually know in real life but it's probably going to be people on it on the internet who um are just you know tuning in and listening and it may only be 10 people in the beginning it may only be two people in the beginning but over time your message will be heard farther and wider trust and believe it especially when you're helping people so do not let fear hold you back do not let you know fear of what people think hold you back do not let anything hold you back from where you're meant to be and from living the life that you are intended to live because without you taking that action and you letting fear cripple you you won't get there and that means somebody else may not get there because you didn't get there because once again they need to hear it from you it ain't gonna hit the same if it ain't coming from you so that is really all i wanted to say today i hope y'all are having an amazing day i hope it's a wonderful day for you i hope you know that this inspired you and it motivates you to really take your calling seriously and listen when you hear when you hear that internal voice telling you that something else is is for you take it seriously and really do what you got to do to to get yourself on that path so i will see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe send this video to somebody else that you think might also enjoy it or that they if you, i said something that you feel like they need to hear um, send it to them and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.